Hello everyone, I'm Chinmay and I work with the Genomics Education Partnership and we've created a set of videos to help you understand what annotation is, how to perform it, as well as how it helps the scientific process, especially our scientific process here at the University of Alabama with Dr. Laura Reed studying the insulin signaling pathway evolution in the Drosophila phylogeny. So we're going to talk about what annotation is, exactly how it helps, as well as how to fill out the annotation report form specifically the project details table, the synchrony information, how to actually annotate it and then submit it to your faculty. However, this video is only going to be an overarching video of how to get used to all the tools that we need uh, as, and a little bit of the science as well. More specifically, we need the student annotators to give us a correct model based on multiple lines of evidence. So let me just show you what a model looks like. And to do that, we need to pull up GP's port of the UC SC genome browser. Here we have our reference species as Melanogaster, as well as 27 other species. We also have Wolbachia, which we won't get into for now. So as an example, let's just go to a species, let's say Buskii, and let's just hit go. And this is what you normally see. All of these tracks, the SP align or the SPOM alignment track, the BLAT alignments track, um, Gemoma, Gene ID, and Augustus, they're all gene predictions, and as you can very well make out, none of them are the exact same, especially this Gene ID, which is way off, and that's where you come in. We need you to look at all the models, including the RNA-seq data, the other lines of evidence such as splice junctions and other gene predictions, which can be found in the section below and then tell us which of these models is the correct or canonical model for each of the isoforms. And what we're gonna do with that data is we're gonna compare the evolution of those genes across the 27 species that we saw before. So the evolution of those 64 genes in these 27 species to see what the evolution of those genes in the Drosophila phylogeny looks like. One thing to note is that this RAD23 gene is not in our pathway. It's just kind of an example to show you how it looks. There's genes like the ILPs, Raptors, Doors, Rebs, Chicos. I can keep going, but the list that you can see scrolling below me is a good representation of what genes are in our pathway. But you will only have one of these genes, and what this series of videos is going to do is help you annotate it. In the next video, we'll talk about the resources that you need, as well as the tools you need to actually start off with the annotation process. And until I see you next time, stay safe.